Hey guys, time for another bedtime book review. I don't have the baby with me today because I feel like if I wait for a time when the house is quiet and she's here and she's awake in a good mood, it's just never going to happen and I want to get this video out. So this is a festive version of our bedtime story reviews. Um, first, if you have not already seen my video about Llama Llama Red Pajama, I'm going to link that up in the corner so go watch that first. Um, I said in that video that I think Llama Llama Red Pajama is like close to an ideal bedtime book. I think it's really good, um, really cute. We still really enjoy reading this. Um, Agnes is at a point right now where she wants to do all the flipping so she just kind of will flip back and forth in different pages as we're not reading like a story all the way through. So some books work better than others for that. Um, this one isn't, it has a narrative to it so it's not ideal but um, she still really likes this book and still chooses it a lot. So check out that review. Today we're going to be talking about one of the spin-offs. Um, there, there's a whole series of Llama Llama books. There's also a Netflix show. I've seen a couple episodes. It's okay. Um, you can check it out if you want. It's pretty standard kids show fair. Um, it didn't hold her attention more than anything else, but that's just because she's very young and uh, distractible. But uh, this is one of the series. Uh, we also checked out Llama Llama Hippity Hop, I believe. Um, I don't know if it lists all of them. Yeah, we checked out Llama Llama Hippity Hop from the library. That one was cute. We enjoyed it. It did not have a narrative. It was like a little rhyme um, and it was really cute. There's others in the story here. Nighty Night, Wakey Wake, Zippity Zoom, Trick or Treat, Jingle Bells, I Love You, and Easter Egg. So some of those are seasonal. This one, not listed there, is Llama Llama Holiday Drama. And I'm going to read that to you and tell you what we think. First of all, there's some more listed on the back here if you want to get the, the full list. Llama Llama Mad at Mama. That sounds like it could be useful. Because I'm trying to teach our 17-month-old a little bit about naming emotions. Um, and I think that might be helpful. Llama Llama Mrs. Mama and Llama Llama Home with Mama. It's about being sick. Um, so there you go. Today we're going to be reading Llama Llama Holiday Drama. We received this as a gift. Super grateful. Um, I think we received it as a gift from the same people who gave us this one because they knew that we liked it. So here we go. Llama Llama Holiday Drama by Anna Dudney. There's glitter sort of in the, it's an iridescent, you probably cannot see that um, in the jacket so that's cute. Cute little uh, fly, fly leaf, is that what this is called? Art? It has a lot of um, various imagery. Well, Christmas and Hanukkah represented here. Llama Llama Holidays, Jingle Music Lights a Blaze. Sparkly candles, yummy bread, dress up clothes in green and red. How long till that special date? Only 15 more shopping days. Llama Llama has to wait. Llama Llama Holidays, ads and signs and sword store displays, fluffy snow and funny elves, goodies piled high up on shelves. No, goodies piled high on shelves. That could use an extra syllable. Just how many days to go? Llama Llama wants to know. Only 12 more shopping days. Those are elves on the shelf, aren't they? Okay. Time to buy and search and shop. Mama carries, llama drops. Oh no, is that? Buy a friend a rubber duck? Pirate ship or tractor truck? Wooden blocks or building set? What will llama llama get? Llama llama holidays, hustle bustle cooking craze. Measure sugar, roll the dough. 10 more batches left to go. How many more days again? The special day is coming when? There's a calendar checked off in the background there. Take the cookies up to cool. Frost a great big batch for school. Add some sprinkles. Almost done. Teacher gets the fancy one. No more cookies left to bake. Llama llama tummy ache. Ooh. School 
has dreidels, songs, and bells. Big red ribbons, woodsy smells. Draw a snowman, make a star. Decorate a candle jar. Are there many days to go? Llama, time is going slow. Looks like it's the 17th. I think these are some of the characters from the TV show. Mama needs a present too. Get some sparkle sticks and glue. Roll it up and wrap it how? Llama wants to give it now. Llama Llama holidays. Unpack stockings, unwrap trays, shiny silver fancy plates. Llama Llama waits, waits, waits. Cut out snowflakes, tape them up. Pour some eggnog in a cup. Oops, it's yucky on the floor. Llama Llama waits some more. Stringing lights is not much fun. How come Mama isn't done? Is the big day coming soon? Llama Llama starts too soon. All this waiting for one day? Time for presents right away. Too much music, too much fluff, too much making, too much stuff, too much everything for Llama. Llama Llama Holly Drama. Come and listen, little mama. Have a cuddle with your mama. Sometimes we should take a rest and hold the ones we love the best. Wishing, waiting, wanting things. We forget what this time brings. Gifts are nice, but there's another. The true gift we is we have each other. Llama Llama, warm and snug, gives a kiss and gets a hug. Snuggles close with Mama Llama. Happy holidays for Llama. So it's cute, right? Let me just point out that the very, very last rhyme it rhymes Llama with Llama, which, you know, as we discussed in our Sleepy ABC thing, uh, I'm very sensitive to. So, Obviously, it's not as ideal as the original, right? It can never be as good as the original. Um, I feel like a lot of the things that they talk about in this story uh, resonate with me as the mother. Um, I'm not sure at what age a child would be able to look at this story, see Llama getting overwhelmed with the impatience and the hustle and bustle and having a meltdown and be able to relate to that. Um, like, I definitely can see both the franticness in the mama character and the overwhelm in the baby llama character um, and relate that to my relationship with Christmas the holiday and with um, my baby and her, you know, current developmental stage. I don't know if she would be able to see that in herself. And so I'm not sure if she'd be able to appreciate this. Um, so I don't know if this one is designed for kids or if it's designed for parents to sort of nod along to and remind them to slow down while they're reading this to their children. Um, so yeah, I feel like it's a little bit confusing there. Um, okay, I'm going to be honest, I haven't actually pulled this out and read it to her yet this year. A year ago at Christmas she was five months old. Um, and so she was not turning pages yet at that point and, you know, had not really experience some of the really big emotions that toddlers can have. So we'll see what she thinks of it um, when it does come out. But again, I wanted to get this video filmed. So this is where we are. Um, I have not read the other Christmas one, Llama Llama Jingle Bells. It features a picture of a sled on the cover. I'm sure you can't see that from here. Um, so it might be a little bit more about Llama Llama's experience rather than Mama Llama's experience. But I guess I just wanted to review this, give you an idea of where this, you know, lies on the scale of very best storybooks of all time to worst. It's better than Sleepy ABC. There you go. And if you're looking for something holiday themed, um, this one is an option for you. And that is all I have to say. There will be a link to all three of the books I mentioned today down below if you want to check those out. Um, and as always, if you have any um, story time books, bedtime books that you want me to review, uh, leave those in comments below as well because I'm always looking for more ideas. I do want to do these every month, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to catch those. And I also post videos twice a week, so I will see you guys in the next one on Thursday. Bye.